This video will first introduce acids and bases by talking about their properties and the acids and bases you have around your home. Then we will discuss different models for acids and bases, including the bronsted lowry model by talking about conjugate acid-base pairs. Finally, we will introduce the fact that water can act as either an acid or a base. All of you have experienced acids and bases. If you have ever eaten an orange, you have consumed citric acid. If you have ever used soap, you have used a base. The properties of acids are that they are sour to the taste, again the orange, they are electrolytes, they turn blue litmus paper red, and methyl orange, an indicator, red. They are proton donors, and they increase the H positive concentration in an aqueous solution. Other acids you have around your home are vinegar, milk, citrus fruits, and sulfuric acid in your car battery. The properties of bases are that they are bitter to the taste, they are slippery, they are electrolytes, they turn red litmus paper blue and methyl orange yellow, they are proton acceptors, and they increase the OH negative concentration in an aqueous solution. Other bases you have around your home are ammonia, bleach, toilet bowl cleaner, baking soda, and soap. The first model for acids and bases was proposed by Svante Arrhenius. He said that acids produce hydrogen ions when dissolved in water, and bases produce hydroxide ions when dissolved in water. Although this definition is correct, it is rather narrow, as not all acids and bases do this. Then Johannes Nicholas Bronsted and Thomas Martin Lowry developed the Bronsted-Lowry model of acids and bases simultaneously and independently. This model says that acids are proton donors and bases are proton acceptors. A proton is just a hydrogen ion because a hydrogen atom is a single proton surrounded by a single electron. When talking about acids and bases, we remove the electron to produce the H-positive ion. We will refer to protons, hydrogen ions, and H-positive ions interchangeably. In the Brunsted-Lowry model of acids and bases, the only difference between acids and bases is the H-positive ion. An acid is something that can donate an H-positive ion, sometimes to water. Then the acid gains a negative charge, because it lost something positive, and the water becomes H3O positive. In this case, the water is the base because it accepted the proton. The acid with the negative charge is the conjugate base of the reaction, and the H3O positive is the conjugate acid of the reaction. This is because, remember an acid is a proton donor, and the H3O positive can donate a proton. A base is a proton acceptor, and the acid with the negative charge can accept the proton. So therefore, the acid forms the conjugate base, and the base forms the conjugate acid. A base is something that can accept an H-positive ion, usually from water. Then the base gains a positive charge, because it's gained something positive, and the water becomes OH negative. In this case, the water is the acid, because it has donated the proton to the base. The base with the positive charge is the conjugate acid of the reaction, and the OH negative is the conjugate base of the reaction. If you are watching this video intently, you might have noticed that I said that water is both an acid and a base. Water is amphoteric, which means it behaves as a proton donor and a proton acceptor. There are other examples of amphoteric substances. How does water know when to be an acid or a base? If H2O is in a solution with an acid, it will be a base and if it is in a solution with a base, it will be an acid. If water can act as an acid or a base, when two liquid waters react together, they form H3O positive aqueous and OH negative aqueous. The auto-ionization of water has a special equilibrium constant associated with it, called the Kw value. The reason it is called the auto-ionization of water is because the ionization of water happens automatically. The Kw value is actually very small, 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th so it will not form many products, and instead be highly reactant favored. The equilibrium constant expression for this Kw value is the concentration of H3O positive times the concentration of OH negative. What happened to the concentration of water in our equilibrium expression? Water is a liquid, so it is ignored when writing equilibrium constant expressions. Now we'll work on some problems using the concepts described in the video. 1. Identify the conjugate acid-base pairs in these reactions. A. CH3COOH aqueous plus H2O liquid in equilibrium with CH3COO negative aqueous plus H3O positive aqueous. B. 
HF aqueous plus NH3 aqueous in equilibrium with F negative aqueous plus NH4 positive aqueous. C. H2PO4 negative aqueous plus H2O liquid in equilibrium with H3PO4 aqueous plus OH negative aqueous. To identify conjugate acid and conjugate base pairs, remember the definition of an acid and a base. An acid is a proton, H positive, donor, which means it will be able to give up a hydrogen ion. A base is a proton acceptor. This means it will be able to gain a hydrogen ion. For letter A, we have acetic acid, CH3, COOH, and H2O, reacting to form the hydronium ion and the acetate ion. Since we have acetic acid, it is the acid, and therefore water must be the base. The conjugate acid is formed from the base, and it itself is an acid. This is the hydronium ion. The conjugate base is formed from the acid, and it itself is a base. This is the acetate ion. There are two acids in this reaction equation. They are the acetic acid, CH3COOH, and the hydronium ion, H30 positive. There are two bases in this reaction equation, and they are the H2O and the acetate ion, CH3COO negative. One of the conjugate acid base pairs in this reaction equation are the acetic acid, CH3COOH, and the acetate ion, CH3COO negative, which is the conjugate base. The other conjugate acid base pair is the water, which is the base in the hydronium ion, H30 positive, which is the conjugate acid. For letter B, we have hydrofluoric acid, HF, and ammonia, NH3, reacting to form the fluoride ion and the ammonium ion. An easy way to identify an acid is that it is a substance that has an H listed first in the formula. Since we have hydrofluoric acid, it is the acid, and ammonia is the base. The conjugate acid is formed from the base. This is the ammonium ion. The conjugate base is formed from the acid. This is the fluoride ion. An easy way to identify an acid is that it might have a positive charge because it will lose this positive charge in an H positive ion. An easy way to identify a base is that it might have a negative charge because it will gain a positive charge, H positive ion, to neutralize that negative charge. There are two acids in this reaction equation and they are the hydrofluoric acid, HF, and the ammonium ion, NH4 positive. There are two bases in this reaction equation, and they are the ammonia, NH3, and the fluoride ion, F negative. One of the conjugate acid-base pairs in this reaction are the HF, which is the acid, and the F negative, which is the conjugate base. The other conjugate acid-base pair is the NH3, which is the base, and the NH4 positive, which is the conjugate acid. For letter C, we have the phosphate ion, H2PO4 negative, and H2O, reacting to form phosphoric acid and the hydroxide, OH negative, ion. If you look at the reactants, it is complicated to figure out which is the acid or base. But if you look at the products, it is easier. Since in the products we have phosphoric acid, it is the acid, and the hydroxide ion is the base. The conjugate acid is formed from the base, this is the water. The conjugate base is formed from the acid, this is the phosphate ion, H2PO4 negative. There are two acids in this reaction equation. They are the phosphoric acid, H3PO4, and the water. There are two bases in this reaction equation, and they are the hydroxide ion, OH negative, and the phosphate ion, H2PO4 negative. One of the conjugate acid-base pairs in this reaction are H2PO4 negative, which is the base, and H3PO4, which is the conjugate acid. The other conjugate acid-base pair is water, which is the acid, and OH negative, which is the conjugate base. Question 2. Write the equations and identify the conjugate acid base pairs when hyperbromous acid, HBRO, and the thiocyanate ion, SCN negative, dissolve in water. We'll start with the hyperbromous acid and react it with water. Since HBRO is an acid, it will donate a proton to the H2O. The products will then be BRO negative, which is HBRO missing a proton, the other product will be H3O positive, which is H2O with an extra H positive. Therefore, the equation looks like HBRO aqueous plus H2O liquid in equilibrium with BRO aqueous 
plus H3O positive aqueous. There are two acids in this reaction equation, and they are the HBRO, because it is listed as an acid, and H3O positive, because it is formed from the base H2O. There are two bases in this reaction equation, and they are the H2O and the BRO negative, because it is formed from the acid HBRO. The two conjugate acid-base pairs in this reaction equation are HBRO and BRO negative, and H2O and H3O positive. For the thiocyanate ion, SCN negative, this is a little harder to predict whether it will be the acid or the base because the name doesn't say what it is. An easy way to identify a base is that it might have a negative charge because it will gain a positive charge, H positive ion, to neutralize that negative charge. SCN negative is a base and water will be the acid in this reaction. Since water is the acid, it will donate a proton to the SCN negative and the SCN negative will become HSCN. The H2O will lose an H positive and it will become OH negative. The equation will look like SCN negative aqueous plus H2O liquid in equilibrium with HSCN aqueous plus OH negative aqueous. There are two acids in this reaction equation and they are the H2O and the HSCN. There are two bases in this reaction equation and they are the SCN negative and the OH negative. The two conjugate acid base pairs in this reaction equation are SCN negative and the HSCN, and the H2O and the OH negative. 